This is the post market edition on Wednesday, September 28, 2011. My name is Des Woodruff, your senior analyst and potentially your future mentor. And welcome to Grok Trade. I see nothing but red for the most part here on the charts. We have the Dow down 1.6%, the S&P down more than 2%, NASDAQ down 2.2%, Russell's down a whopping 4%, huge drop in small caps, banks down 3.77%, a major hit in financials, big spike here in the volatility index where the fear indicator up 9%, we're up over 40 now, gold takes another hit hit down 2.75%, almost a 3% haircut. Silver takes one on the chin also. U.S. dollar up 0.36%. Crude oil down 346 Again, commodities, gang, on the sector rotation. When you start to see commodities take a hit like you're seeing it now, that is not to be played with. Watch the markets very carefully. Tomorrow we have the GDP coming out pre-market 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. We all will be watching that news event coming out. We also have jobless claims, initial jobless claims being reported from last week coming out at the exact same time, but it will pale in comparison to the GDP report. Now, looking at the technicals. Don't you guys just love tactical analysis and how well it plays out? For those that are short, you have to have an iron stomach, you know, sitting through um, little pullbacks like we see here on the S&P daily. But you have to stay true to the charts. The charts, let them do the talking. Let those charts be the things to drive your sentiment. It's not your opinion. Don't be a bull or a bear based off of just what you think is going to happen. Be a bull or a bear based off what you are seeing happen. And when the argument is more one-sided, then pay attention to that and play the trades to that side. That was an educational moment for you, free of charge, and you, a lot more of that when it comes to uh, the mentorship, which you should take very seriously. We actually, how many of you guys are going to the Traders Expo in Vegas? If you haven't been to a Traders Expo, it's great. It's free. And you have all sorts of free classes you can take throughout the days that you're there. It's wonderful. And if you want it to be a write-off, uh, I'm going to be doing a mentorship just before that. It's a three-day mentorship just before the three days there at the Expo. So if you want to write off your vacation, this is the time to do it. But if you'd like to do a live mentorship, I only do one or two of these a year. The rest of them are online. And it's always a great time. Uh, send Carolina at grocktrade.com. Carolina, send her an email so you'd like some more info on it. Or just fill out the form at the mentor thing. But anyway, let's look at the technicals. Have this big triangle. We came up, 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 up. Shooting star below the falling 20-day moving average. We make a lower high, lower low. Boom. Drop. We stay low, lower than zero line on the MACD, and we have a crossover. We do have a tick on the histogram on the negative side, and we are, in fact, dropping. We did break a support area at 11.54. We did close down below it. We closed at 11.51. We need to get below 11.50 to see continuation to the downside, but we have a lot of major support coming in down here that we need to watch for. If I bring this, let's do this. Open this up. I'm going to give you some numbers that I'm personally looking at in my own trading. So um, write those numbers down right here. Those are some, some major support areas. I go here to the Dow. You can see that um, support, support, support. We broke support, resistance. Now we're dropping. Everything's rolling over. And if I go here to the NASDAQ. NASDAQ hit our head at some major resistance areas. Boom, big drop. We're heading down, but we have support coming up. Russell's came up, smack our head, falling 20 day moving average, big trend line, big drop. Boom, big support coming up right here. And if I go here to the banks, I'm going to show you the financials. Financials are dropping, 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 
dropping right here. Boom. If I go here to the ES, the ES dropping here, volume only started really picking up there at the end of the day. Let me show you this 15 minute chart, huge volume. Look at this. See the volume increasing right at the end of the day. Last hour and a half was brutal. So volume is picking up on the sell side. So make sure you spread these free videos to your friends. This should be a daily step for you. Always come and watch these. We will keep you abreast to the very best of technical analysis. Make sure if you are not overly savvy on analyzing those charts yourself, then we're your best friends. Stay close, stay near, and safe trading to you.